Hello guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Missouri Foxtrotter and the Black Arabian, the two supposed best horses in Red Dead Online, and there's some argument as to which one is best. One costs $950, the other 44 gold bars, so in theory the Black Arabian should be better with it costing more money, especially as you can pay real life money in order to purchase it. So is it actually worth the cost? We will find out. If the video is useful, a like is appreciated. So some things to know first, both horses I'm testing are in story mode, but like weapons, horses on and offline have the same stats, so it doesn't matter which mode that you test them on. For stats, both are fully bonded and have the best saddles and stirrups equipped to be as good as possible. You can see in these images for story mode, this will give you a minus 16% stamina core drain, a plus 16% stamina regen rate, a minus 14% health core drain rate, and minus 50% stamina drain. For online, you actually get better stuff in this because you can increase your stamina drain by minus 100%. So your horse online can actually be better than the one in story mode. But at a certain point, the stamina stat becomes pointless anyway, which I will go over later in the video. Well, at least for better horses. So let's begin. We'll start by looking at a fully bonded Arabian versus the Foxtrotter. For the Arabian, it has a speed of 6, 8 with the best saddle equipped. As you can see there, in story mode, you do get an extra stat which you can apply there. I have not done it because it's not available online. Acceleration, 6, 8 with the saddle. Health is 9 and stamina is 9. The Fox Trotter it has a speed of 7 and 9 with the saddle. Once again, this one can reach 10 speed in story mode. It can reach that online though, so I've kept it at 9. Acceleration is 5, 7 with the saddle. Health is 8 and stamina is 9. So except for the speed stat, the Arabian is better in stats. So let's compare these stats in game and look to see what the actual difference is. We'll start on one that I think is the least important and that is health. The health is the amount of damage that your horse can sustain. Damage received on your horse is the same, it's just your health bar that's bigger. So the Arabian has one extra bar of health over the Fox Trotter. And in game, this means maybe an extra bullet from the Varmint Rifle or so in terms of damage your Arabian can receive over the Fox Trotter. To be honest, it's not really that much of a difference. Both are probably going to die around the same time in a gunfight. And if you're falling from a big height, then they're both going to die around the same height as well. So even if the Fox Trotter dies a bit quicker, online, it's not really a problem. You get your horse back for $4, so it's not a big deal. So while you do want some health so your horse is not dying all the time, between these two horses, there's just no difference between them. Let's look at acceleration. How fast your horse can go from stationary to full speed. I tested this simply going from stationary to sprinting and measured the time at the same point for each where I thought the horses were running at full speed. And this one was interesting. The Arabian 2.42 seconds, the Fox Trotter 2.44 seconds, only two hundredth of a second difference between them. I continued to measure for a bit longer just to make sure and even after 10 seconds of running full speed, there was only 6 one hundredth of a second difference between them. So despite the Arabian having one extra point in its acceleration stat, in game this doesn't actually translate into anything other than a few hundredths of a second difference. So again, just like health, there's not really any difference between the two stats. What about stamina? Both horses have a stat of 9, so you should at least see the same amount of time. To test this, I simply run with the horses at full speed to record the time at which the stamina ran out. For the two horses, the stamina ran out at the exact millisecond, which I was happy about. So yes, stamina for both horses is equal. However, I should point out a fully bonded horse with the best saddle has unlimited stamina because simply by pressing the left stick every 20 seconds or so, you actually regenerate some of your stamina. Something not a lot of people know about. I have mentioned it before though. And so the rate of stamina drain is slower than you can actually regen by pressing the left stick. And so that way you have unlimited stamina when running. And you can see this in the next clip where I race the horses to test out speed and you will notice that both horses maintain full stamina throughout. So this makes the stamina stat again something meaningless and between the two horses there's no difference. What about the speed stat? And based on our acceleration stat things are not looking too good. So 30 seconds race down the straight road here at Braithwaite Manor. The Arabian has one extra point in acceleration, the Fox Trotter won in speed and so over a distance the Fox Trotter should be quicker. And it was over a 30 second race by 1 500th of a second. Again guys, despite having one extra point in its speed stat, that's offset by the Arabian's higher acceleration. So over this shorter distance, there's really no difference between the stats again. So if the Arabian can only keep up thanks to its acceleration initially, then that means over a longer distance than the Fox Trotter's better speed should give it an advantage. So again, I did a longer race. I raced along the train tracks here from Valentine to Emerald Station, around two and a half minutes doing full speed the whole way, using the left stick to keep my stamina at full. And as you can see here at the end of the race, 
Yes, guys, the Arabian was one second slower over two and a half minutes of racing. So what does all of this mean? In conclusion, guys, the only real difference between these two horses Yes, maybe you could say health, the Arabian can survive like an extra bullet from a weaker gun, maybe drop from a higher distance. However, the other stats, stamina, which is a pointless stat if you've fully upgraded your horse with the best equipment, speed and acceleration where there are literally milliseconds between them, over just 10 minutes at full speed of running, there's really only four seconds between the two horses, and that's just really no difference at all. And in a race, this stat just won't make any difference. For me then, the Fox Trotter must be the winner, because both are pretty much the same horse, but the Arabian has more negatives. It's far more expensive, paying gold, real life money for some, essentially for the same horse, as its improved stats provide no real benefit. The Fox Trotter is still expensive, but at least you only have to pay in-game cash for it. The one benefit of having the Fox Trotter as well though, is that it gets less scared. The Arabian is annoyingly spooked by everything, whether that be an animal or whether you're just running at full speed for a long time. So guys, save your gold, don't buy the Arabian unless you really love the way it looks, because if you're comparing it to the Fox Trotter, there's just no difference between them, despite all the arguing online on which one is best. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. Everyone talks about which is the best horse, but nobody's taken the time to actually compare them. If you do find it useful and want to see more videos, subscribe for more Red Dead Online, including news, updates, guides, and reviews. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.